It's time for your weekly financial workout with your elite personal trainers, Ryan and Bob Payne, guiding you on how to build a stronger and more robust financial plan. So get ready. We're about to pump you up live from the greatest city in the world and the city of brotherly love. This is No Pain, No Gain. Good morning. This is No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. I'm your host, Ryan Payne, president of Pain Capital Management, along with Chief Investment Officer, the man with the plan, who happens to be my father as well, Big Bob Payne. Good morning, Dad. What's shaking on this uh, first weekend in hard to believe, but March? Right, I'm sitting here getting ready to do my brackets. You know, big March Madness is coming up, my favorite time of year, and I need your insight. Is your alma mater going to win the big dance this year? Oh, man. I don't know. I don't know. It's tough to say, but uh, March Madness is coming up. Anything can happen, so I say go Wildcats, Bob. <laughs> All right. Let's go with the Wildcats, Rye. I think uh, you can't go too far wrong with Villanova. That's true, considering that I went to school there. That uh, is definitely a feather in its cap, <laughs> in my mind anyway. Well, we got a great show for you this morning to help you on your path to financial freedom. Bob and I are going to talk about 401k madness, never mind March madness. Money you're saving in your work retirement plan is potentially going to be one of your biggest assets to live on in retirement. Bob and I are going to break down everything you need to know about your 401k. We're going to talk about having a financial advisor or what we call financial salesman. Are you truly working with a planner that is helping you achieve your financial goals or a salesperson who's just selling you financial products? Bob and I are going to help you discern between the two. And we have this week's financial pornography. There's a lot out there in the financial news, press, we want you to avoid. And we have our very, very famous financial advisor on the show this morning, Frankie Lagrateria. She's going to talk about a real retirement case that she worked on, give you some of the ins and outs and things you need to be thinking about with your own planning and investing. Let's hop right to it. Bob, let's talk about some of the most frequently asked questions our clients and listeners ask about their 401ks. And one that I get all the time is, should I go for the free advice that these 401ks offer or you know, one with a low fee? And what am I even paying in my 401k? Well, that's a great question, Rye, but I got a better question. Do you know where your money is? My money? Yeah. Yes. I'm a financial advisor. I better know where my yeah. money is. I check it every well, day. You'd be surprised that how many Americans have lost track of their 401k assets. I just saw a study, according to the National Association of Unclaimed Property Administrators, okay. how many billions of dollars have been missed by investors in their 401k? So money out there that people haven't claimed, I'm going to say it's probably a big number, like a billion dollars. Yeah. How about 7.7 .7 billion wow. investors have lost track of their 401k assets? Now, you know, that makes sense in, in some ways because, you know, people change jobs a lot today and when they do... You know, your focus isn't, you know, what 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 happens to that fifty thousand, hundred thousand of my four one k? What are you thinking about? Right, you're thinking about your new job, your new people you have to meet. I need a new key fob. I got to get a parking spot. I got to learn the software systems. I got to get to know what all my benefits are. And next thing you know, you lose track of your assets. Yeah, exactly right. I mean, that's why I love when we do our. 360 portal and we have you just bring all your assets in and we just tally everything up because you always find there's, oh, I forgot about this account over here. I forgot about this first job I had out of college over here. The money's just sitting there. It's like you always say, Bob, it's like peeling back an onion. There's mm -hmm. so many layers and it's like a lot of this money just gets forgotten about. You know, a lot of times, Bob, those plans can be very, very expensive, and you don't even know it because the fees are hidden. Well, that's so true, Rye. So it, it almost comes down to with your nest egg. If it's out of sight, it could mean it's out of mind. And that's why when you have an advisor attached to the 401k, you definitely want to take advantage of whether it's low cost or some cost because you need someone to be your financial quarterback. Now, be very careful on who you work with, because some people are what we call fiduciaries, and some people are just flat out salesmen. Bob, so you're saying, right, because if you're a fiduciary, because that word gets thrown out a lot, that means that by law, you have to give advice that's in your best interest. If you're working with someone who's not a fiduciary by law, they don't have to act in your best interest, which means they can sell you the highest cost product, and they're not really liable for it, 
That's a bad deal. Well, it is. And here's how it works, right? If you're a fiduciary, a fiduciary has to act in your best interest, right? They have to invest your money as if it's their own, where when you have a commission salesperson, they're going to sell the highest product on their shelf. No, they're going to they're gonna sell the product that makes them the most money and their company the most money because that's what they're hired to do. It's pretty simple, you know, when it comes down to choosing. You want somebody who works in your best interest. You want somebody who works against your family's interest. Uh, yeah. I choose a fiduciary every time. Well, it's true because a lot of times, too, let's face it, your, your boss might have picked the 401k based on the person they play golf with. <laughs> in fact, we know a plan like that. And that's where it's a good question to ask whoever's running your plan. First, find out. Ask them point blank. Are you a fiduciary? If they're not, then, well, you may want to get your advice from somewhere else. But also, it's important just to find out what all the fees are that you're paying in your 401k account. And I would reach out to that rep to find that out because a lot of times it's the cost that you don't see that's really mm-hmm. expensive. You know, there's a lot yeah, of Ryan, what are you talking about? What kind of cost? I mean, it's uh, you know, a lot of times somebody will say, "Oh, I got a 401k, I can have an IRA, the most tax deferred. I have to take the money out when you're 70 and a half." What kind of costs are there in a 401k versus an IRA? Well, there's a couple costs. The first one could be the administrative costs. A lot of times, your company doesn't pay those costs. They pass that cost over to you. And that could be Mm -hmm. taken right out of the account. You can see it directly on your statement. But a lot of times, they just put you in very, very expensive funds. And that ends up paying not just the admin cost for you, but everybody in the plan. So a lot of times, if you have one of the bigger balances in your 401k, you could be carrying the burden for a lot of the other participants in the plan. So, you know, it's really critical to really know these costs because that can have a huge impact on what your returns look like over time if there's a lot of fees coming out of that portfolio on an annual basis. Well, you know, as we always say, Ry, the magic of wealth creation is compounding of dividends and interest. And if you're getting an extra half or 1% by simply transferring your money to the same type of a strategy, only at a lower cost, you're going to make a lot of money in your lifetime. That's right. And a lot of times it's these old plans that you have outstanding that you have from old employers. You can roll them into an individual retirement account for yourself, what we call an IRA. Also, a lot of times if you're at 59 years old, you can do what we call an in-service distribution. I mean, you can still contribute to your 401k, but you can roll money out into an individual retirement account for yourself to manage the money at a lower cost. So if you're thinking to yourself, I need to know what the costs are on my 401k plan. I've got a lot of assets out there that I've forgotten about that definitely need to be analyzed. Here's your shot to get a holistic review. If you're one of the next 10 callers and you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, Bob and I will run for you our famous total financial master plan. That's when we do a holistic review of everything. You bring in every single statement you have, put them in that brown paper bag. What we're going to do is we're going to load all of your assets into one personalized portal for you so you can view everything and we can do a full analysis or a full x-ray on your portfolio. We're going to look at those fees. What hidden fees do you have in your portfolio? Are you being overcharged on your 401k? Are you paying too many admin costs? Bob and I are going to show you all the fees in your portfolio and show you how to reduce the cost. We're going to look at diversification. How much risk do you have in your portfolio? What pitfalls do you have? Are you prepared for the next market crash? Bob and I are going to show you how to bulletproof your portfolio for retirement. And we're going to look at income. Income is so critical in retirement. Bob and I are going to show you how to increase or optimize the income on your portfolio. Then we're going to tie it all together and we're going to run the numbers to figure out are you going to outlive your money or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies now, our family has worked on for over 40 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. All you have to do is call or text 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next 10 callers and you saved over 200000 for your retirement, Our team will create for you our total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation, there's no cost, but you'll miss out if you don't call or text 844-752-6692. This is Bob. This is Rye. We're the pains of no pain, no gain, financial radio.
We told you earlier that Ryan Payne is the president of Payne Capital Management. This means he's the one responsible for designing the firm's investment and financial planning strategies. He has several years of experience helping clients innovate, evolve, and fine-tune their strategies. To reach out to Ryan and his team, call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. It's time for the weekly No Pain, No Gain Market Update with a team at Payne Capital Management here in New York City. Good morning. This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Officer at Payne Capital Management. And the markets moved back into negative territory for the year after President Trump said his administration would impose tariffs on steel and aluminum and immediately raise concerns about retaliation from countries like China and other major U.S. trading partners. Concerns about a trade war come in an already shaky time on the street of dreams. The Dow and the S&P 500 fell about 4% this past February. That's the worst month we've had in two years. And with the tariff news, markets have given back all of their gains for the year and closed in negative territory. Now, although stocks continue to benefit from a positive economic backdrop with synchronized global growth and record corporate earnings, you should be prepared for a more volatile environment than we experienced in all of 2017. You see, markets abhor uncertainty, and the threat of trade wars adds another layer of uncertainty on top of the concerns of a potential pickup in inflation, rising interest rates, and monetary policy tightening. Now, keep in mind, all bull markets in history experience corrections, and the market corrected 10% last month in February, from all-time record highs set just at the end of this past January. So it's now very possible that this week's pullback will test the recent lows of that correction. But remember, all dips in history are temporary and new highs inevitable. Trying to time corrections always fails, ends in tears. Bull markets declines come and go fast. You don't want to miss the gains that follow in a big, booming bull market. Now, if you're wondering, do I have a portfolio that's built to win? Why wonder when you could know? Call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Planning for retirement shouldn't feel like rocket science, but it's easy to get lost in the financial jargon. Every seventh conductor being connected by a non-reversible tremie pipe to the differential girdle spring on the up end of the gram meters. Let's clear up the confusion. Back to Ryan and Bob. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, no pain, no gain financial radio. And Bob and I are simple men, and we want to keep it simple for you. That's why we give you the most common sense advice every week that you can use to improve your planning and investing. And that's why we put together our newest guide, the highlights of the new tax reform that you can download for free to get educated on all the new laws this year. Simply text the word bullish, that's B-U-L-L-I-S-H, to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. You can get all the new tax reform highlights. Know what you're doing for taxes in 2018. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. And in this segment, we want to talk about working with the right financial advisor. Odds are, if you've decided to hire a professional to guide you with your finances, there's a good chance you don't know exactly what type of advice and service he or she is actually providing you. Bob, what are some of the warning signs to indicate that you should definitely be looking for a new advisor? You know, Ryan, I just met with one of our clients the other day, and he is a, he's a very social individual. He plays golf at least four or five days a week, out every night, got a great company, and he's done very well for himself and, his, and for his employees. He says, you know, all of his friends are complaining about their advisor because the only time they hear from their advisor is when they're returning their call. So I think the first sign that you might have a bad relationship is you're not hearing from your advisor. They're not calling. They're not meeting with you. I think that's the biggest problem I hear yeah. almost on a daily basis. No, it's a good point. Like we talked about earlier in the show is you're paying fees. You might not know you're paying fees, but if you're working with an advisor in a 401k, there are fees that are being taken out of your account. You want to make sure that somebody is actually earning those fees and having some sort of proactive advice 
versus reactive is absolutely one of those critical signs. Um, yeah, Rob, one know, of the things that happened with me, with you know, with my consulting business, when I worked with almost every channel in the industry, there's really a big differentiation. There are people who look at the people they work with as either a customer or a client. Now, if you're a client, you're treated like family. If you're a customer, yeah. you're looked at as a buying unit. That's the term they use at a lot of these firms. You're a buying unit. So a lot of times you are not hearing from the person who sold you those investments because as a buying unit, You've already paid all the commissions you're going to pay. Even though you may be paying an ongoing fee, you're no longer worth their time. That's a horrible place to be. It's a cold, cold thing to be called a buying unit. I never want to be called a buying unit. So, I, yeah, and, it, and especially if you're working with someone who's managing your money, it's a very personal relationship. And I agree with you. It should almost feel like extended family in terms of the type of relationship you want to have because I mean, money's a very personal thing. And again, you, you want the royal treatment when it comes to something you're paying for. You know what I'm thinking, Rive? If somebody views you as a buying unit and not as a client, you're viewed as a customer, what can go wrong with that? What if you stick with that person? What could go wrong? Well, I think that's part of the problem is a lot of times maybe you do have a good working relationship with your advisor. Maybe it's your buddy from college, right? And they've been mm -hmm. with them for so long, but maybe you've been treated so much like a friend that you don't get those calls like we're talking about. You're not getting real planning advice but it's just such a long-term comfortable relationship. But you know, especially as you get close to retirement and retirement, you really need that planning component. And someone who may have been your, what we call your wealth accumulation advisor, it was great when you're just working, throwing money into a growth strategy. But a lot of times you might outgrow that advisor. And when you know when that, you know, it's time to be like, all right, I need to actually change up what I'm doing right now. Well, you know, Ry, I work with all of my friends from college and a lot of my high school friends. And you know what they ask me all the time? They say, Bob, just invest my money like it's your money. And you know what's great about being a fiduciary? I'm obligated by law to do that. So it's, 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 an easy, it's an easy fit. But not everybody works that way. And I think that's the thing when you have someone who doesn't work in your best interest, you know what could really go wrong, right? What's you could about? run out of money. Yeah. Right at the end of the day, it comes down to, as we always say, it's is your money going to outlive you or are you going to outlive your money? And you don't want to outlive your money. That's not the place to be. And especially in these critical years, when you're getting five, 10 years out from retirement, and then finally in retirement, you know you have to really start to look at your nest egg in a different way. And that's a lot of that is actually protecting your assets, not just growing your assets. So well said. And But how do you know, right? How do you know in an interview when you're sitting down with an advisor, if you know, obviously you can ask them if they're a fiduciary, but what kind of questions should you ask to find out about their philosophy and their strategy? And uh, how do you check these people out? Well, I think the first red flag is, are you being recommended products before any plan has been put in place? That to me is the biggest red flag, Bob, because you know, you and I are so adamant about planning that it should always start with the planning process first. You got to start with the end in mind. That makes a lot of sense. But you know, there is a website too, right? You could check out every advisor to see if their clients or their buying units are happy with them. That's yeah. called FINRA, right? You can broker check, you just Google it, and you can put in the advisor's name, the name of their company, and it'll tell you if they've had any complaints or if they've been sued or, you know, we had an advisor the other day, a new client of ours fired because the person was arrested for shoplifting. Wow. That's scary. That uh, That is definitely a red flag in my book, Bob. <laughs> That's um, a big red yeah. flag. No, but I think the important thing is, is look, I mean, what you want to make sure is being addressed is first off, the planning component is so critical. And what you want to think about is someone sat down with me and mapped out what my future looks like, because you can't really even build an investment strategy unless you know those questions. You know, when you want to retire, if you're retired now, how much money do you need a year? You know, what about things like healthcare costs? We talk about that on the show all the time. Healthcare costs are going to be one of the biggest enemies of the retiree today. You're going to spend more in healthcare costs than any generation before you in retirement. And you have to make sure that your portfolio can withstand that. And these are the kind of numbers you really seriously got to start looking at. So if all this stuff isn't being addressed, to me, they're going to be the first red flags that, hey, you know, I might not be getting the advice that I need now, especially that retirement is either around the corner or you're in the thick of it now. You know, Ry, if you're sitting there in that interview and they're not asking you those questions, right? They're not asking you about how long did your parents live? What type of health issues are you dealing with or 
or did your family deal with? You know, what are your passive income streams? You know, where are all your 401k and IRA and all your other assets? You're not checking the beneficiary on your account or reviewing your will or your trust or your tax return. You know, if they're sitting there talking about their last vacation and they're telling you about their golf game, you had the wrong person. And we just had a client open accounts with us because every time their advisor called, they were telling about the great vacation or great trip that their insurance company sent them one. Yeah, well, that's, yeah, I don't want to hear about that. That's for sure. Um, yeah. The other thing too is just giving advice in a vacuum. This is one other point is you mm-hmm. want someone who's going to give you holistic advice. So maybe you don't have all the money with one advisor. Maybe you do have your 401k at work that can't be moved. And maybe you have some other assets that you have held away. But you really want to make sure that whoever's giving advice is giving it to you as a bird's eye view. Because all those parts fit together into one plan for you. Regardless of where those assets are held, you know whatever savings you have, it all has to be factored into your plan. So you want to make sure that that person that advisor that you're going to pick is addressing all facets of your financial life, not just the money they're managing per se. You're right, Rob, because you know what, what you want an advisor to do is make sure you're financially organized. And, and when you ask a new client, or yes, someone new that you just met on a scale of one to 10, how organized are they financially? What do you usually hear? Right, let's be real, Bob. Most of us, we're at three at best. We don't have our financial life in order. I'll tell you what, Rye, most of my clients are financially organized and they're at a 10. When you ask them where they would like to be, what do they usually tell you? Don't we all want to be a 10, Bob? Yeah, you know, and it's so easy. If you'd like to rank a 10 in your financial life in terms of how organized you are, all you have to do is be one of our next 10 callers. Now, if you've saved over 200000 for retirement, Rye and I will create for you your own customized 360 financial portal. You no longer have to worry about whether or not you've left some money on the table or you've lost some assets in an old 401k or IRA. You know, what this means is you don't have to remember all those account numbers, passwords, security questions, you know, your favorite dog, the name of your first girlfriend, the name of your first car. You could put it all into one portal where you have one password and one sign on. Man, wouldn't it be awesome to be financially organized? Just think, something happens to you, how easy it is for your family for your wife, for your husband, just to keep your life working or to transition your financial affairs in a worst case scenario. What we're going to do is we're going to provide a total financial master plan if you're one of the next few callers. And we're gonna answer that age old question. Are you gonna outlive your money or is your money gonna outlive you? Utilizing strategies that my family has now been perfecting for close to 43 years. So don't waste time. Call or text now at 844-752-6692. That's call or text 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next 10 callers and you have over $200,000 safe for retirement or run the full holistic review, simply call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Seven five two six six nine two. Don't waste time. Get the holistic review now at eight four four seven five two six six nine two. That's call or text eight four four seven five two six six nine two. This is no pain, no gain. Financial radio. for Financial Pornography of the Week. This is where Bob and I scour the daily financial news and call out the biggest offenders of offering obscene and profane financial guidance to help you protect yourself from making any ill-advised financial decisions. Bob, what horribly terrible run financial pornography or financial advice was out there in the financial media this week. I read an article this week, Rye, that said you're doomed as a retail investor to underperform for the rest of your life. Well, that's a bummer. It is a bummer because, you know, in the eyes of Wall Street, even if you have a couple of hundred million dollars, guess what? You're a retail client. You know, the markets are dominated by institutional investors. And worse, the retail client, the retail investor are susceptible to some really performance numbing biases. 
Performance numbing bias, this sounds pretty heavy, Bob. What uh, can you uh, elaborate? That's pretty well, serious stuff. Professor Terrence O'Dean, UC Berkeley, has written many, many papers about the performance of retail clients, about investors who chase performance. And what happens is that most investors underperform because they're trying to outperform. And the way they do that is they switch investments when something goes down to buy something that's been going up. They're chasing winners, Rye, and selling uh, losers. Great point and great time to talk about that. I literally had a personal friend client call me the other day, and now the market's been going up for nine years. And you know our philosophy is when things are going up, you take some profits, you add to your safer parts of your portfolio. It's the old Warren Buffett adage, Bob. You know, Be mm -hmm. greedy when others are fearful. Be fearful when others are greedy. And this client, he's close to retirement. Market had a magnificent run last year. And my advice was naturally, all right, let's take some profits off the table, get the portfolio back in line. And he said, wait a minute, Ryan, let's not do that now. The market's heating up right now. Let's <laughs> ride this thing. <laughs> and I'm thinking to myself, this is why you need me <laughs> because you know you can't get greedy when things are going up and things are good. That's the time you have to be proactive and make these good decisions and putting some more money into conservative investments and things like that. Yeah, but Rod, when it comes down to the end of the day, you are an average, normal human being. Your clients are, and every financial advisor out there is as well. They also have the same bias as the client, and they don't want to upset the client so they allow them to sell what's down and chase what's up. I've seen it happen in all the charitable boards I serve on. You know, after three years of underperformance, people fire their mutual fund or investment strategy and go after what's worked over the last three years. It's the hamster wheel of underperformance that's been going on for decades. Yeah, and I think that's a big mistake that we make is, and we talked about this a lot, is you know, if it, whatever's worked the last couple of years, we assume it's going to work in the future. And with the markets, that's never the case. Everything's cyclical. And the perfect example is the last 10 years, we were in a deflationary environment. That meant interest rates were going down. And it was a US-centric market. The US was the only country in the world that was really growing out their earnings, whereas we're in an earnings recession globally. Well, all those dynamics have changed. Now we have synchronized global growth around the world. The world's leading in earnings growth right now, not the US anymore, and we're starting to see inflation, and your portfolio needs to be adjusted for that. So you know, the biggest mistake is not being proactive, being reactive, just saying, well, I, if it's if not broke, I'm not gonna fix it, Bob. Yeah, but Ryan, the people who made the most buy and sell decisions in their portfolio underperformed the most by, get this, 6.5% a year. Wow. By just trying to chase return and uh, trying to be smart. <laughs> past performance is 100% indicative of past performance. That's all it tells you. <laughs> no true words have been spoken, Bob. That was very interesting uh, article that I read. What did you find out there in the world of financial media that keeps people from investing properly? Well, my financial pornography comes from Goldman Sachs. Mm, if it keeps on giving. It keeps it always coming out bad financial pornography you need to avoid. One of their economists came out this week and says that a rise in interest rates on the 10-year treasury note to 4.5% by year end could cause the market to collapse or to climb by 20 to 25%. Talk about creating some fear on right, two multiple fronts. Multiple forecasts, huh? Multiple forecasts. First off, let's relax a little bit. We know that we've seen inflation go up a little bit. We've seen interest rates go up a little bit. The 10-year Treasury note stands at about 2.9% today. That doesn't mean all of a sudden interest rates are going to skyrocket, Bob. And that seems to be what the typical financial pornography is pointing out right now, that we're going to see rates skyrocket like they did in the 70s and the early 80s. Well, you know, 3% doesn't sound like a skyrocketing interest rate to me. No. I mean, if, we, we, if we're lucky to surpass 3%, which we haven't even gotten to yet, by the way, and this economist is talking about 4.5% and a big market decline, I think we're getting a little ahead of ourselves right now. You know, right? most people are like weathermen, right? They can't predict whether it's going to rain or not tomorrow. They can't even tell you what's happening right now. Making these forecasts about what's going to happen, there's two things that I know. No one can predict what's unpredictable, and no one can know what's unknowable. So what's an investor to do? Yeah, I mean, you're, you're kind of between a rock and a hard place if you're trying to anticipate. And remember, 
anticipating is a very dangerous thing to do in investing. And anticipation means, Bob, well, you know what? If this economist says that interest rates are going to skyrocket, I might as well get out of my stocks, get out of my bonds, wait for this big correction to happen at the end of the year, then get my money to work at that time. But usually these predictions, they never pan out and you end up making some very foolish moves in your portfolio. Who was it that said, Ry, that economists exist to make fortune tellers look good? Warren Buffett. Love that quote. <laughs> Do you think he's changing his portfolio strategy based on Goldman Sachs predictions right now? I, I suspect he's not, Bob. I suspect he's not. No, um, he lives by that adage, you know, markets operate and time passes, right? I mean, look where we are. We're in March already. And if you're sitting there in cash right now, you're missing out on the compounding of dividends and interest. You know, so what if rates go up? If you own bonds that mature, you're going to reinvest your money at a higher rate of interest. You want interest rates to go up. You know, enough of this event driven strategies that are out there. That's what financial pornography does. It's counterintuitive to investing. It, it makes everybody feel good because everybody knows rates are going to go up. Everybody knows the market's too high. Everybody knows the market's going to go down. You know what, Ry? Nobody knows. What we do know is markets operate and time passes. Yes. And if you want a strategy that capitalizes on the fact that time does pass and markets operate, a real strategy based on your goals, not based on financial pornography, here's your shot to do it. If you're one of the next 10 callers and you have over $200,000 safe for retirement, Bob and I will run for you our total financial master plan and we'll run it with no obligation or cost. It's a full holistic review based on your goals. So if you bring in all of your financial statements, wherever they're held, we're going to take all of them and we're going to build a personalized portal to view everything from a bird's eye view so we can look at everything for you holistically. We're going to do a full portfolio review, portfolio x-ray, where we're going to look at things like fees. Are you being overcharged on your investments? What hidden costs do you have in your portfolio that are detracting from your performance? Bob and I are going to show you how to reduce the cost on your portfolio. We're going to look at income. Income is so critical in retirement. Bob and I are going to show you how to increase or optimize the income on your portfolio. And we're going to look at diversification. What hidden risks do you have in your portfolio? Is your portfolio built to capitalize on the next 10 years in the markets? Bob and I are going to show you how to do that. And then finally, what we're going to do is we're going to tie it all together and determine, are you going to outlive your money? Or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you utilizing strategies now we have worked on for over four decades to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success? Come grow with us by calling or text 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next few callers, you've saved over 200000 for your retirement. Our team will run for you your own personal total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation and there's no cost. There's no plan if you don't call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. This is Bob. I'm with Rye. We're the pain family. We're the pains of no pain, no gain. Financial Radio. How's that saying go? No pain, no gain? It's the name of our show, too, but we spell pain, P-A-Y-N-E. This is Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio, and Bob and I want to keep it simple for you. Our goal every week is to give you common sense, intuitive advice that you can apply in a practical way to your portfolio, to your retirement planning, and that's why we put together our latest guide, the newest tax reforms for 2018. You can download it for free if you text the word BULLISH to 555-888. That's the word BULLISH to 555-888. You can get all the highlights of the new tax reform. Get up to date, simple document. Be up to speed for taxes this year. Simply text the word BULLISH to 555-888. That's the word BULLISH to 555-888. And if you want to learn more about myself and Bob, and yes... Bob's hair is as amazing as we talk about on the show. You can see us and check us out at bebullish.com. That's bebullish.com. You can learn a little bit more about Bob and I. And you can check out the most recent episodes of No Pain, No Gain. We also put up a lot of great articles, timely things, so you can be up to speed with what Bob and I are thinking. And if you ever have a question for myself or Bob, you can always email us. Questions 
at bebullish.com. That's questions at bebullish.com. Bob and I will answer your questions directly. And if it's a really good question, we're going to answer it right here on the show. And like every week, we got some pretty good questions. Bob, the first question comes in for you. It's from Jerry. He's in Westchester. He writes in, Bob, I love how much my retirement accounts have grown the last couple of years, but I'm starting to wonder, when do I need to walk away from my metaphorical craps table? Jerry, if you're at the craps table, I want you to run, not walk away. But investing is not gambling if you do it properly. You know, I just had a call the other day from someone I've known for a number of years, and he wanted to know about the online trading academy and how to invest. And I said, well, that's not investing. You know, that's trading. Trading's gambling, no matter which way you look at it. They said, well, I don't understand. What do you folks do? What, what is investing? I said, it's building a portfolio, investing in something for the long term. No, what's long term? I said, how about the rest of your life? Now, why do you think we want to invest for the rest of your life? Because over time, all markets go up. And that's what an investor does. They invest in a diversified portfolio that gives them the highest probability of achieving their goals. So, right, Jerry is thinking that perhaps he's gambling with his portfolio because, you know, and I see that happening a lot because a lot of people who have speculated in individual stocks have seen companies get wiped out and go to zero. You know, a company we worked for disappeared. Remember old Merrill Lynch? Doesn't exist anymore as a freestanding company. So, you know, how often in history, Rye, have markets gone to zero? They've never gone to zero, but companies have gone to zero. And that's why we believe in diversification. The other thing is, I think we forget, Bob, is if you have a properly diversified portfolio, and we talk about generating income on your portfolio, income that your portfolio produces over time invariably is going to be where most of your return comes from, especially as you're building your portfolio for retirement. It shouldn't be as dependent on what are the swings of the market on an annual basis. Because I mean, as far as I've can tell, Bob, I can't control the markets year to year. I wish I could. I pray to the market gods, but it doesn't really work. Yeah, you know, so true, right? You don't understand that there are companies out there that have increased their dividend every year, not just for the last couple of years, but for 50, 60 years in a row. Now, the only way big companies can increase their dividend, you know, the money they pay out to their investor is they have to be making more money. So as an economy, you know, we've been growing your whole life as the markets have been going up your entire lifetime. The markets have never been as low as they were when you were born. So if you look at your portfolio as a craps table, you're looking at it the wrong way and you definitely need to have that reviewed. Investing is not gambling, right? Investing is putting you in a best position to give you the highest probability of overcoming inflation and achieving all of your lifetime dreams and goals. Well said, Bob. Well, thank you, Rye. I appreciate your uh, your appreciation. Now, that was a great question from Jerry. I wasn't sure. Was that Westchester, Pennsylvania, or New York? He didn't specify, so it could have been either since we're on Philadelphia and New York now. How about that? So I'm going to reach into the mailbag here, Ryan. We got a question from Marshall in Madison, New Jersey. And he says, hey, Ryan, I have a variable annuity, and I just found out that the fees are very, very high. I'd like to move the money somewhere else, but I have to pay a penalty to take my own money out. Is it worth the penalty to get away from these high fees that I'm going to be paying every year for the rest of the policy's life? Oh, good question, Marshall. And this hap- we analyze this all the time. I had a case like this this past week. And a lot of times you may be stuck in an annuity where if you sell, you're going to have to pay a big back-end charge. And a lot of times there's what you call fee schedule, meaning it may take a couple of years before those back-end charges go away. Well, here's the crazy part. It might be worth taking, Bob, the hit on those back end charges now. Well, right, wait a minute, Rye. You're telling somebody to take a loss to make money. So you want to lose money to make money. Explain that how that works. Because what you don't realize is the fees that you're paying inside of a lot of these annuities is so high that even if you took the big back end charge hit, you would make it up within and most analysis that I run within 24 months just because the portfolio that you would put your money into would be that much cheaper. So think about it. If I have to pay a 7% back-end charge on my portfolio to get out of an annuity, which is, that's a high amount, right? It sounds like a lot. Yeah. But if I'm paying, let's say 4% a year in that annuity, 
I'm going to be paying 8% over the next two years being inside the annuity, which is more than the seven to get out. So the annuity company or insurance company wants you to stay in these things because the, the fees are so freaking high that a lot of times it's better just to rip the Band-Aid off and get out. You'll make that money back a lot quicker than sitting in that annuity and waiting for the back-end charges to disappear. You know, it makes sense, right? We had a, a listener come in last week and they had the same mutual fund in their annuity as they did in their IRA. And there was a 4% difference a year over 10 years in performance for the exact same fund. The only way that fund would underperform by 4% in the annuity was that 4% went to the insurance company. The insurance company always makes out. And I'll just tell you another case real quick, Bob. This person was paying $110,000 a year in fees we were able to bring them down to $15,000 a year in fees. That's over $70,000 a year. And in their case, it was worth it to rip the Band-Aid off and save $75,000 a year for the rest of your life. That's real money. You know what, Rob? We don't know I'm thinking. I think that in our next lives, you should come back as an insurance company. But if we don't, what I'd like to offer, if you're one of our next few callers and you saved at least $200,000 for your retirement, we'll do the next best thing. Ryan and I will run for you your own personal total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligations, there's no cost, but here's what you'll get. You'll get a full holistic review. We're going to give you access to our 360 financial portal where we'll look at everything. We're going to look at your taxes. We're going to look at your estate plan. We're going to see how things are titled. We're going to see whether you need a trust. We're going to see whether or not your portfolio is performing as, as advertised because we're going to give you a complete portfolio x-ray where we break down the three key elements of a successful portfolio diversification fees you know we talk a lot about these hidden costs well basically these costs are overcharging your plan and preventing you from achieving your goals these costs are buried deep into the prospectus into the additional prospectus into the annuity contract we know how to find them we'll show them where they are we'll help you to eliminate those more importantly you deserve the income your portfolio can generate. We want to optimize your portfolio income, and we want to tie it all together into one simple document where we'll answer that age-old question, are you going to outlive your money, or is your money going to outlive you, utilizing strategies that my family has now been perfecting for over 40 years. That's correct, folks. For four decades, Payne Capital has been helping families like yours get from your point A to your point B, your goals, your dreams with your values with the least amount of risk and as much certainty as a fiduciary like us can provide. So don't waste time. We have a couple slots left. Call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. This is your chance to get a holistic review. Give us a call or text 844-752-6692. 6692. That's 844-752-6692. Don't waste time. Here's your chance. 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. This is no pain, no game. Financial Radio. Here's this week's Spotlight on No Pain, No Gain. It's Ryan and Bob, No Pain, No Gain. And Bob and I want to educate you. That's why we put together our latest guide on tax reform. You can simply text the word BULLISH to 555-888. That's the word BULLISH to 555-888. You can get an update for 2018, the new tax reform Simple document, give you all the breakdown of things you need to know. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. And now it's time for my favorite part of the show, our spotlight segment. This is where we take a real financial plan and uncover what we call the flaws or pain points. That's P-A-Y-N-A for the record. So you can avoid some of the same mistakes with your own planning and investing to help us do that today, we have a very special guest on the show, Bob and I's colleague, Miss Frankie Lagrateria. Hello. <laughs> that was a little. <laughs> I thought you, there was more to it. I thought I was going to get yes. like a 
I was waiting for one more thing, but I guess... Yeah, uh, like leaving us on our toes. What I meant to say is everybody wants to be one of Frankie's financial friends. There we go. (laughs) Well, good morning, Frank. Good morning. Happy happy days. Um, Well, hey, thanks for being on the show. And you worked on a case this past week. Why don't you give us the rundown and talk a little bit about some of the mistakes this couple is making with their retirement planning. Yeah, absolutely. So a little, a little background for everyone here. This is a, a sir that we met with, and he is looking to retire in the next three years, you know, has done a really great job uh, accumulating a lot of wealth. He has a, a pretty large family, about like five kids, and I think three, at least three grandkids that we oh, were wow. chatting about. Yeah, so he has a mm. big family, and he wants to uh, settle down soon, maybe move to Florida, live the Bob life. You can hang with Bob. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that part of the plan? You get to part hang with Bob. Part of the plan Bob. is hanging out with Bob. Golf with Bob to become a client. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, wanted to sit down with us and kind of see, you know, is he on track? You know, he definitely came to us and said, listen, Frankie, I know I have too much risk on the table. That was the first thing he said to me. And I immediately looked at his uh, his holdings and I agreed. <laughs> so I think the big thing about this specific plan here and this proposal specifically was that he is in a growth accumulation. And just as in life, you know, as you're getting closer to retirement, you're getting closer to, you know, different stages of your own life, your portfolio needs to develop with it and go from being a growth accumulation portfolio to a growth preservation, and then eventually a growth or a distribution phase. Yeah, I'm looking at this now, and he has 77% of his money at risk in the markets. If the market pulls back, he's going to get clobbered. Actually, in, he had this portfolio, and we had a similar to 2008. This portfolio would be down about 38%. So on $1 million, oh. that's almost $400,000. That's yeah, a lot everybody of money. <laughs> knows, everybody knows all you have to do is, is hold on but how many people really do? When you lose a half a million dollars, tell me you're going to be psychologically capable of staying the course? I don't think so. Or what if you have a, a big expense coming up? You know, what if, you know, like in sure. 2008, how many Americans were, were planning their retirement parties and then all of a sudden that was no longer in the books for them? How many people yes. were, you know, looking to buy a home or had a pretty expensive medical bills? Well, they're, they're smart enough to know that they're taking outside risk. I mean, it's great when you have the performance that we've had for the last few years, but they're smart enough to know that history can repeat and it most likely will, like you say, Frankie, at the worst time. Absolutely. And just, you know, as you get older, as you're getting closer to retirement, you just don't have that time on your side. You don't have that time where you can say, all right, yes, we had a big hit. I know I'm going to make this back. I can live off my income that I'm producing, you know, for my job, my salary, my wages, you know, sometimes you don't have that luxury anymore. So if you have yourself kind of geared up in that way, or your portfolio is taking such risk, you know, you're going to be stuck. You're going to be stuck. You're going to be stuck either going back to work or or doing something. (laughs) Yeah. yeah. And when you rebalance this portfolio, how much more income are they going to generate annually? About $30,000 more. So $30,000 a year, every year, and that income could actually go up. That income, yeah, most likely will. Well, and that's that was the solution here is he's stopping to work. You It looks like you're helping him decide when's the best time to take Social Security because that's another thing. There's, there's hundreds of ways to take Social Security. So first, you're figuring that out for him. And then on top of that, this other gap of how do I generate that other income that I'm replacing because I'm not working anymore. Exactly. And to my prior point, you know, as you're getting older, as you're going through stages in life, your portfolio needs to. So that growth distribution phase is going to be huge for everyone. So that includes, you know, looking at bonds for income, looking at your best way of getting Social Security for your income, being diversified and getting income from your from your dividends. You know, that's really going to be the game changer here. Yeah. Income planning is so critical. And like, it's something we all need to do as we get close to retirement in retirement is figuring out where the heck is that income going to come from? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, right. I like like the fact that you're setting them up with our 360 financial portal where they'll be able to track each of these articulated specific goals now on a daily basis they care to or any time they care to look at it. So they'll know whether it's today, a year from now, five years from now, that they're on course, that they don't have to worry about that they're not getting up and going to work every day, that they're going to have all the income they need, you know, to enjoy their life and their retirement and achieve their dreams. And that's the key, you know, to these strategies is that you're able to see it. It's tangible. It's not just your words against their fear. 
Oh, absolutely, Bob. And all of Frankie's financial friends loves the new 360 portal because you can just do in real time, you know, where am I, you know, and and every scary thought that you ever had, what if, you know, I need to pay $100,000 every year for long-term care? What if... You know, I my spouse passes away unexpectedly. You know, what if, you know, X, Y, and Z? You can run it right there, and we can show you, and we can walk you through the scariest things that you ever thought of, and now we actually have a plan in case that happens. Yeah, it's just like putting your portfolio under the proverbial stress test. You know, look at everything you can go wrong, throw the kitchen sink at the plan, and then we can figure out where, hey, this is something you may want to tweak over here. Like, hey, you may not want to have all your money in the market because if it goes down, you could lose 400000 Might not be a good idea <laughs> as you're getting close to retirement. You know, and it's not, the planning's not just about investing and income. It's also about reviewing the estate plan. What were some of the issues there, Frankie? Yeah, so one of the big ones was, and I see this often, he didn't have one. <laughs> How about that? Isn't that amazing? <laughs> that's, the, that's the biggest problem you can have in estate planning is yeah. just <laughs> not having it. Needs a will. Yeah. Needs a will. Yeah. Yeah. So, and that's oh, the thing. That's will what he needs health care proxies. He needs power of attorneys. These are everything that everyone needs. They know they need it. They need someone mm-hmm. to tell them to go get it. I would say ask Prince, but he wouldn't be the best advocate for uh, getting your estate <laughs> no. together. Prince forgot to have his will done too. So don't be like Prince. Uh, great job on this case, Frankie. Another financial masterpiece, as Bob would say. And if you're thinking to yourself right now, I need a review like this. I need to figure out an income plan for retirement. I need to make sure that I'm not taking unnecessary risk. Here's your shot to do it. We have a few slots left. If you give us a call right now, myself, Bob, Frankie will run for you our total financial master plan, and we'll do it with no obligation or cost. We'll just take all of your investments, we'll load them into a personalized portal for you, and we'll do a holistic review. We're going to look at putting together an optimal income plan. Can we increase the income on your portfolio? Can we optimize Social Security? Very important, critical things. Can we add another $30,000 a year in income that you can live off of? We're going to look at diversification. Are you taking way too much risk right now? What pitfalls do you have in your portfolio? How do you protect your portfolio? And we're going to look at fees. Are you being overcharged on your investments? What hidden costs are in your portfolio? Do you have a lot of high cost insurance products, annuities, mutual funds? We're going to look at all those things. And then finally, we're going to tie it all together and we're going to determine, are you going to outlive your money? Or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies now we've been perfecting for over 40 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. If you want to be a financial friend of Frankie, just call or text 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next few callers, you've saved over 200000 for your retirement. Our team will create for you your own personal total financial master plan. No obligation, no cost, no strings attached. Just give us a call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844 844- 752-6692. Well, I see the phones are lighting up because, Bob, you said, I think everyone wants to be one of Frankie's financial friends. <laughs> it is the elite club. Frank, thanks for being on the show this morning. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. <laughs> Bob, how's uh, life down in Florida? Well, Rye, uh, as my friend said the other day, it's getting way too hot and the greens are too fast, but who's complaining? <laughs> <laughs> A bad day in Florida. <laughs> it's a good day anywhere else, right, Bob? It's a lot nicer than the week I spent in the uh, rain and 30-degree weather last week. I can tell you that much. <laughs> <laughs> well, have a great weekend. And as always, be bullish. Information provided on today's show is provided for information purposes only and does not constitute investment, tax, or legal advice. Information has been obtained from sources that are deemed to be reliable, but their accuracy and completeness cannot be guaranteed. Always consult with an investment, legal, or tax professional before taking any action.